Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our video for this week, learning about a new story, reading it several times, and working on lots of reading skills with just one story. Okay. For today, you'll need three things. You will need your literacy notebook. You will need your book called Starting Off Strong or Junior Great Books, and you will need a pencil. Please pause this video if you need time to go grab those items. In my notebook, first I'm going to open up to the next available page. So I'm going here, okay. In my book then, I'm going to the next story, How the Peasants Fought Wisdom. You can find this on page 12 or page 13. I'm gonna go ahead and write down the name of the story. First, I'm writing down the name of the book, Starting Off Strong. And then I'm writing the title of the story. How the peasants bought wisdom. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit focus. Here we go. All right. So today is our vocabulary prep. So just like we did last time with our previous story. Here it is. We'll be making a list of the words that we don't know. Okay, so again, I'm back to say words that I don't know. I'm going to write both the word and the page number. Now this story is found from page 12 to page 15. So that is what we will be reading today. I am going to read the whole story to you. Now, why do I do this? Okay, obviously fourth graders can read on their own. However, the first time you hear a story or you read a story, it's a really great idea to also listen to it. Okay, so you're welcome to either follow along on my screen if for whatever reason, uh, you're tired of looking at screens because you know that's what we're doing a lot unfortunately you're more than welcome to follow along in your book okay so getting started on page 12 please join with me three men dispatched to venice to bring wisdom to their little village so here we have a lot of picture clues there about what is happening in the story after you read the story, I imagine this picture will make more sense, okay? How the Peasants Bought Wisdom. This is a Serbian folk tale as told by Nada, and then I'm not sure how to say that last name, Krčija Proda, Prodanovic, maybe, okay? <laughs> Doing my best there with a Slavic language. All right. Let's get started. The peasants in a certain little village by the sea found life rather hard and tried to discover why it should be so. Now, I'll remind you, we will be writing down words we don't know. So maybe that word peasants is unfamiliar to you. If it is, you'll go ahead and write it down. If you already know what that means, then you don't have to write it down, okay? The head of the village and the elder men sat down talking about it one day, and one of them said, the reason for this state of things must be in our lack of wise men. Hmm, that word lack. I'm going to take a moment to write it down. At any time there's a word you're not sure about, please pause the video and write it down. Take a moment just to write it down. Look, in all the other villages, there's at least one wise man among the peasants, but we haven't a single one. They all agreed that this might be the reason for their wretchedness. Come on, that's a big word. Wretched. 
Goodness. I'm also writing the page number so I can always come back to it and look at it again later. I'm gonna zoom in, that might help you see it better. They all agreed that this might be the reason for their wretchedness and started thinking what to do about it. At last, the man who was considered to have the best brains among them spoke. I think I know what we should do, brothers. Let's collect 50 ducats. Hmm, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna add that to my list. All right, let's collect 50 ducats among us and send three of our men to Venice to buy wisdom. For I've always heard that Venetians, hmm, Venetians. I've always heard that Venetians are the wisest people in the world and that they so brim over with wisdom that they have a surplus to sell to other people. Surplus. That they have a surplus to sell to other people. Of course, this rare commodity will be very dear. Commodity. All right, on to the next page. All the peasants thought this a, very good, this a very good plan and acted accordingly. And within three days, the golden ducats were collected and three men, three men, excuse me, dispatched to Venice to bring wisdom to their little village. The three arrived in Venice safely and started at once to look for wisdom and to inquire about its price. I'm not sure about the word inquire. This is now page 14, so I'm going to write that instead of page 13. The three men arrived in Venice safely and started at once to look for wisdom and to inquire about its price. They soon came across a cunning man who thought this too good a chance to be missed. Cunning. I can't sell you a stone of wisdom for the amount of money you've bought, you've brought, he said, but I'll let you have a quarter, okay? Now here it's kind of like fractions, he's saying I'm not gonna let you have all of it, but I'll let you have a part of it. The peasants agreed to the bargain, happy to have found the right man so soon. Did they really find the right man? No. The Venetian, however, caught a mouse, shut it in a little box, wrapped the box tightly, and said to his customers, here is wisdom for you. You'd better hurry home with it, but don't open the box before you reach your village. The happy villagers returned on board their boat and started on their way home. As they drew near, one of them said, listen, brothers, I don't think it right to share this wisdom in equal parts with the whole village. We've taken more trouble over it than all the others together, and I believe we're entitled to have one half of it among the three of us. Let the village have the other half. I'm looking at this word entitled. So I'm going to write that down. His two friends nodded approvingly, and he took the box and unwrapped it. The moment he opened it, the mouse escaped. Excuse me. As any mouse would do. It hid somewhere in the hole. Hmm. Hole. It hid somewhere in the hole, and the three peasants were left to moan and lament the loss of their dearly purchased wisdom. This word lament, I'm going to add, and it's also on page 15. However, when their hunt proved unsuccessful and when their lamenting came to an end, one of them was struck by a bright idea. 
Listen, brothers, there's really nothing to worry about, for our wisdom is still on board this boat. It hasn't run away. Soon afterward, they reached their own shore. The whole village was at the little harbor to welcome them, waving bright handkerchiefs and cheering. But when the elder peasants wanted to look at wisdom, the three men confessed, though somewhat reluctantly, to having let it go loose. I'm going to write that word reluctantly. Also on page 15. The three men confessed, though somewhat reluctantly, to having let it go loose. Their friends on the shore were grieved for a while, but as they all agreed that wisdom must still be hiding in the boat, they decided to pull the boat ashore and to keep watch over it day and night. Okay, I'm going to write down that word grieved and then ashore. They all agreed that wisdom must still be hiding in the boat. They decided to pull the boat ashore and to keep watch over it day and night. So every day from that time on, a man would stand sentinel by the boat. Hmm, sentinel. So every day from that time on, a man would stand sentinel by the boat. And the peasants, whenever there was a serious matter to be solved or a wise letter to be written, would come into the boat, sit there for a while to absorb as much wisdom as possible, and then do their task with confidence. All right, this is the story, How the Peasants Bought Wisdom. You should now have, after reading the story, either with me or by yourself, you should have a list of words that you are not sure about. For this week, because it is our second week, please have a list of at least eight words. So let's see. One, two, three. Here I have 16 words, okay? So when I'm asking you to have a list of eight words, Maybe you're using eight of these words that I have on my paper. Maybe you're choosing eight other words in the story that you're not sure about, okay? But please have a list of eight words ready to go for our vocabulary discussion during our class, okay? Until next time.